Okay, we're, we're, we're going. Okay, uh, pick this up. Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking uh, about video game news today. Now, today is the 11th of February, 2021. Now, this is what's happening today. This, uh, we're going to start off on the YouTube channel. This is my YouTube channel and all that. It's not that important. Also, if you do like my content, do manage to subscribe, maybe? I don't know. Leave a comment, or you don't have to. I don't know. I'm trying to do what other YouTubers do. Uh, I'm very new at this. But, uh, yeah. Okay, today's Fortnite, <laughs> Fortnite news is on Twitter they have released their picture for their Fortnite and Tron crossover. Now, this caught me completely off guard cuz I never thought Tron, especially Tron Legacy, the the newest Tron movie, there's two of them. I heard that the first one wasn't that good. I've only seen the newest one. But yeah, they made a Tron crossover. Now, these are what the two of the many characters look like. There is going to be a crap ton more uh, characters that... Well, not characters, but like looks for these uh, Tron skins. Now, this was released today, and we don't really know when it's supposed to come out, or at least uh, if there is, I haven't found it. But, uh... Yeah? This is definitely... Really cool find for Fortnite. And this caught me completely off guard. Uh, in other Fortnite news, the Flash the Flash skin will be coming out in exactly two days. Now, it's almost the 12th because I'm filming this at night. But, yeah, so in two days, the Flash skin will be coming to the item shop in Fortnite. And not only with the skin, apparently he'll be coming with Lightning Bolt... Uh, pickaxes, I guess? I guess what the this is what those are? This is supposed to be like a back piece, I'm pretty sure. Because if I remember correctly from the Star Wars crossover they had, they had the... like the Rebels and the Sith logos, like as holograms on someone's back. And then, of course, they can't have the Flash without the Flash uh, emote. I guess it's just him running. I don't know. But yeah, the Flash skin is supposed to be coming out in a couple of days, uh, on the 13th of February, which I think is a pretty good time. Uh, this skin was announced at least a week ago, I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, did I just get these? What do you mean? Like, uh, get the skin? Because if you mean get the skin, then I didn't get the skin. I just got these pictures off of Google and other websites. So that way you guys can see what the representation is. Yeah? No. I don't. I didn't get the skin yet. The skin, I don't even have Fortnite downloaded. Uh, well, at least anymore, because I haven't played that game in forever. Um, but yeah, it's this is the Flash. Really cool art. Now, in other news, this one get, gets outside of the virtual world and into the real world. Because this year is supposed to mark the year of the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. Now, if you don't know already, there's already a big like scandal thing going on. and uh, Especially within the last three days. Uh, but yeah, McDonald's had a crossover with Pokemon. As you can see, I got the Pokemon Pikachu box. It's got, like, these little things. I don't know what this one is. I never really read it. But, yeah. Then it's also got the Pokemon ears that you could cut out and then put onto the Pokebox. It's very nice. It's an empty box, except for trash. But, yeah. And it's a Happy Meal box. And they're having a bunch of Pokemon cards. I would show you the Pokemon cards that me and my sister got. But... Uh, they're already downstairs, and my sister and my mom are already sleeping. So I don't want to go down and wake them up. Oh, it's the kitty. Hi there, Maxie, you good kitty. Why is your head wet? What'd you do? 
It is also freezing outside. It is snowing like crazy. Now, this is all the news I have so far, but also with some other interesting news. Here, hold on. Let me set this up real quick. I have... I have my Switch right here with the Super Smash Brothers. Now, this is an event that's happening in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Uh... Hopefully the thing will load faster. But in the meantime, yeah, there's the Kitty Max. She's mad at me because of because of reasons, I guess. She, she just looks like a shadow on the camera filter, but I don't know. I don't have a filter on, but uh, yeah. See right here. Ah. The event claws out. It is a Super Smash Brothers event that has spirits with claws, talons, and other sharp uh, blah, 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 blah. appendages will be cl clacking, clacking, clacking their way into the sp onto the spirit board. Defeat them in battle to earn more gold than usual. So, like characters, like like as you can see here, Krabby, Dry Bowser. Uh, I think that's. I don't know which Mega Man character that is, but they also have Metal Sonic and then Mecha Ridley right there. So apparently you can get extra gold for going and defeating those spirits. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> now, if you have any other news for video games, go ahead and let me know uh, in the comments and all that. Uh, I'll let... One person from the audience right now on this Instagram live uh, suggest a game. Oh, hey, Max. Walking by the camera. Don't step on the keyboard, please. You mess up the buttons that way. <laughs> Fluff button. Here. Let's actually go back to that Fortnite... Uh, thing. Let's see, does, did Fortnite release anything else? Uh, what's this? Oh, yeah, Fortnite's Valentine's Day event. That's right. Valentine's Day season. Ooh, that's actually pretty interesting. What is this? What is this? I don't know what this is supposed to be. Is that a black hole? What is that? I don't, what? I don't understand that. Okay, but yeah, uh, according to Fortnite, nothing new was really happening. Yeah, see, you can now make a paper mask, apparently, from here. They got new new music. I'm not going to play it, because I don't want to get copyright on here by Fortnite. Even though, yeah, Fortnite's a cool company and all that, I don't want them suing me. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the reality log that they had. Alrighty then. That was, uh... That was terrifying to listen to. Uh... Okay. And I'm pretty sure this... Okay, the reality logs that Fortnite's been... Passing out... I know they're supposed to relate to, like, a different character and all that. Like, yeah, see, there's the Flash one. Oh, right. 
Oh, okay. I will, I'll talk about this here in a little bit, but the reality logs, yeah, they're supposed to be like like hints of what the next uh, avatar is going to be. The avatars could range from like characters. Here, let me actually pull up some of the crossover ones that they had. Fortnite crossovers. Like crossovers like Kratos, the god of war. No one expected him into the game. They also got characters like Master Chief in there. Uh, heck, one of the first big crossovers was was with Marshmallow, and people loved the Marshmallow. Another one was Travis Scott. He got two different skins. One like this, and then one like him as a cyborg, I guess? I have to say the Travis Scott skin is a very cool one. Um, I know the the entry logs, they were, they predicted characters like Kratos, the Predator, uh... Sarah Connor and the Terminator. They also predicted uh, Snake Eyes from GI Joe, which honestly I'm not. A, I don't know anything about GI Joe, so hearing that this guy's name is uh, Snake Eyes makes sense. I honestly thought Snake Eyes here was you was GI Joe, but apparently not. Also, back in Halloween, they had a Ghostbusters event. Where you could get like a crap ton of Ghostbusters costumes and no one expected that. And they actually added the real John Wick in too. Let's see, they also had crossovers with DC superheroes like Aquaman, <laughs> Batman, a, a, the, let's see, the movie version Batman of the Dark Knight, and then comic book Batman, Black Manta. Black Manta is one of my cool, one of the best villains, I think, in the DC universe. Uh, Catwoman, Green Arrow, which is a new one too. Harley Quinn, the Joker from a pack. Uh, Poison Ivy, and that's it. They also have ones for uh, Marvel too. I know this is old news at this point, but I still want to go over it because it's still news about Fortnite and their past crossovers. Like they had Baby Groot as a. Here, let me actually go in so that way maybe it will zoom in. Or something? I don't know. But yeah, they got Baby Groot as a backpack. They had Black Panther, Black Widow from the Black Widow movie that still hasn't came out yet. Uh, a Black Widow costume. This was, isn't supposed to be Black Widow, but it's a Black Widow costume. Uh, they got Blade in there, which Blade in there was pretty surprising. They got Cable, Captain America, Captain Marvel, Daredevil. Two different versions of Daredevil. Daredevil. They had Deadpool... Doctor Doom, Domino, Ghost Rider, Groot, Iron Man, Mystique, I think that's how you say her name. I don't know how to say this lady's name, but I know she's part of the X-Men. Rocket Raccoon, not as an avatar, but as like a backpack. Uh, She-Hulk, which I have to say, she looks really cool. Uh, Silver Server, also another really cool Fortnite skin. Uh... A Star-Lord costume, Storm, Taskmaster, Thanos, as a villain, as an actual villain that they had. Thor, from his newest version of, of him in the comics. Venom, of course, because why not? Venom's awesome. Wolverine. Oh, you meowing? <laughs> and this one isn't Fortnite. But yeah, you, get, you guys get the idea. Fortnite's had a lot of stuff. Uh, I believe one of their... Let's see, where is it? One of the radio log things actually predicted Man Cake, the pancake bounty hunter in the Wild West. Which I have to say, this character's awesome. He's just straight up awesome. He's a living food. Oh, and all these radio logs are coming from Agent Jonesy. He's supposed to be this interdimensional secret agent that's bringing all these people together. And also, they also had crossovers with frickin' The Walking Dead. With characters like uh, Mike Cohn, I think that's how you say her name, I have no idea. And then Darl Dixon. Uh, the really cool characters. Also having characters like the Demigorgon from Stranger Things in the game is just absolutely astounding to me. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I honestly have no nothing else to say. Oh, right, the fort, the Flash, this thing. I was going to talk about this. This is supposed to be a way you can get the Flash skin early is if you do, 
is if you beat the Flash Cup, it says right here. Um, but yeah, the Fortnite skin, the Flash, uh, doesn't come out until, let's see, it doesn't come out until February 13th, and let's see, what does this say? Oh, you get the skin early on February 10th, so three days before the skin actually comes out. Also, this version of the Flash isn't isn't from the comics or the Justice League movie. It's the Flash from the Flash TV show. Here, let's actually look that up. The Flash a TV show. American television series. See? Right here. As you can see, that Flash right there looks very familiar familiar to our Flash that we have in the Fortnite. Uh, this came out 2014. Was it really that long ago? Gosh. That's crazy. That's honestly crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much all the news we have for today. If you enjoyed this video or something, which probably not, but... If you did, I'm proud of you for getting this far in the video. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, uh, I might do a voting thing either on Instagram or on my YouTube channel. Uh, most likely my YouTube channel. Uh, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know they did this. They did a Buccaneers Fortnite skin. Uh, what? Uh, Kansas City. Kansas City Chiefs. Honestly, I'm not going to go into the NFL right now. But oh my goodness. If you watch the Super Bowl, then you know. You know. You know deeply of what happened. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Let's see. Uh, ch -ch 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 if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to this this YouTube channel. There, I put it in the video. I'm going to save this on Instagram so that way people can watch it and then see that I have the YouTube channel. I just need to figure out how to get the link into it. I know people have tried helping me do this, but I'm too... I'm too strange i guess max what are you doing hey no don't claw up the couch i see you good kitty um but yeah if you want to watch any of my other videos they're right here uh the first one here is three years ago <laughs> minecraft story mode best this one's actually pretty good uh i want to get back to playing this minecraft story mode but not by myself obviously i want to play with either my sister or my parents um, I know recently I've been making a lot of toy videos, but that's because I don't really have the right equipment to play video games right now, which, yeah, just don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Like, videos like the Minecraft Rock, Paper, Scissors right here, and then GoldenEye that I played with my friend, it's just, I'll get back to it. Like, the Overwatch videos here, Overwatch Fun Times Halloween Update, that was three months ago. And then I'm starting to, I'm trying to get it weekly, like how this one was four weeks ago, two weeks ago, one week ago, ten hours ago. This one came out today, which is looking at my unopened pop figures. This one I actually had a lot of fun doing. And you see in the thumbnail how I got Yu-Gi-Oh cards of characters? <laughs> I've been, okay, literally all day, here we, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. all day I've been making Yu-Gi-Oh cards like crazy. Made one for Black Panther, Captain America, Hulk. It's so cool. Also, if they add the Hulk to Fortnite, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to... She added She-Hulk, they didn't add the Hulk Hulk. But if they do... I'm downloading Fortnite again. But, anyway. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a great day. And, uh... Yeah. Also, happy Valentine's Day. I completely forgot. It just turned 12, like, 13 minutes ago. So, Valentine's Day is now in two days. Oh, wait, the Flash skin comes out the day right before Valentine's Day. Oh, I didn't even realize that until just now. But, uh, yeah. 
follow me for more video game news in the future. I will definitely try and do more video game news at least maybe once a month if anything big happens. Maybe once a week. But definitely, I'm trying to go for daily videos. Or not daily, maybe two videos a week probably. Two or three, three videos a week maybe. But yeah, I'm going to be working hard this year in 2021 to hopefully get this channel up to 100 subscribers. At least... 35. 35 is like my n new goal right now. Uh, if I get up to 35 subscribers, that'll be amazing. But for everyone who's watched my videos and has subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you very, very much. I appreciate you very, very much. Also, I'm going to be premiering almost every single episode from now on, so that way I don't have to worry about the video going up until I get to be there. Plus, I get to watch the video along with you guys, like I did today with the f looking at my unopened fu pop Funko Pop figures, which was very fun. There was only one person there, and I very much appreciate you being there. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, if you guys have any more ideas for videos, um, go right ahead and tell me. Also, uh, yeah, if you want to see more videos, like, especially with friends, go right ahead and tell them, tell me in the comments, or something, I don't know, but I, I've been going on for too long now, thank you again for everyone that's watched my videos, it's really awesome that you've been here, and yeah, just have an amazing day, goodbye. Ah! Uh...